Welcome to another edition of Talking Models. Today we're going to review a brand new release from Pestilence Models from Mark Worthling. A beautiful kit sculpted by none other than Jeff Yeager and it's a continuation of the series of the Aurora Box Arts. If you haven't seen this series or you don't know of Mark or Pestilence Models, where in the heck have you been? Mark is one of the great guys in the hobby. I've gotten to know Mark and his wife, and I'll tell you what, down to earth, love the hobby, and care about us, the collectors. So Mark and Shanna, boom, boom, you two rock. Well today, I just received my edition of the Hunchback of Notre Dame. And we're going to take a look at this one. The box is the size of Texas. So I have it over here on my right. So I'm going to kind of unbox it right here for you without bringing the box out here and you won't see anything. But you're probably going to have a styrofoam party too. I'm imagining when I take this stuff out there's going to be little things all over. It's all part of the experience, right? So let's take a look. First thing we're going to see is an envelope. Box Art Tribute Hunchback, kit number 121. Documents and clothes, a certificate authenticity. A retro assembly instructions artwork, color box art, painting reference. And a Manny Yak 5 Hunchback sticker. Boom! That's what you get in this. Let's take a look and see what beauty this is inside this here. empty. All right. Ooh, a nice uh, certificate of authenticity. Pestilence Labs. Boom. Little ghoul. Remember the ghoul? Boom. And it looks uh, like you have the box art. Paint up by none other than Mr. Saul Alvarez. Boom. Old school. Look at this. Old school instructions. Remember the old Aurora? Man, well thought out, Mark. Instructions on how all the pieces go together. Very, very thorough, Mark, as always. Making the collectors feel special. Boom. And look at that, your very own hunchback sticker decal. That's what I'm talking about. All right, on to the resin goodness. So as we take... The thing that causes so many messes, I'm going to set that here lightly so we're not trashing the Talking Model Studio, which is also my art studio. There's going to be cleanup, but I'm sure it's going to be worth it. So, it's packaged nicely in here. The first piece we're going to take out, which is covered in foam, is the cathedral wall. Wow, is this thing big. Such detail in there. Jeff nailed it. So you get your wall. What else is in here? Part of the steeple, the top part. And there's more. What is this? This is the Hunchback of Notre Dame nameplate. There's two sections of this, so be patient. So you have that one nameplate and you get a second nameplate depending on which head you use, I suppose. And this one, again, the Hunchback of Notre Dame. Smaller. So you have two choices, which one you'll go with. Hmm. I'll probably paint them up, both of them up, but I kind of lean toward the old school Aurora looking one. So other in here you get, uh, looks like several pieces of the base, which probably holds up the... Uh, the Wheel of Death, as you can see, are all nicely packed in here. You also get the Hunchback's hands, which are beautifully, beautifully done. And it looks like another piece of the uh, base for the wheel. Oh, here we go. Also, look at these. 
your two different head options. Anthony Quinn and Lon Chaney Sr. Wow. I'm telling you, which one to do? Mark, you should have included two bodies, too. That way we could have done both of them. Kidding, buddy. But look at these bad boys. Jeff Yeager. I'm telling you. There's a reason he's the best. I'm telling you guys. He just insanely captured both of these. So, so clean. My goodness. Prime and paint buds. That's what you're going to get with these. We'll set those over here. Well, that's layer one. So I'm going to take this out. Trash the studio. Put her up here. Next, we have the bodies. As you can see, you get the hunchback's torso, the top. Again, the same amazing casting, clean, 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 prime and paint. You have the body of the hunchback. Enough to hurt. I'm telling you guys, it's prime and paint. You just look at that plug and play. We'll stick them over here. What else we got? All right. We have the top of the spinning wheel base. Oh, we have the wheel of death. This looks like um, all the ropes. These are all the ropes that tie him down to the wheel. And of course, you get the piece where everything fits together. Again, plug and play. Clean some of this foam out. You'll see that it just snaps in there. Plug and play here. Look at that, like a glove. You snap him up on here. Look at this. Are you excited? I am. I'm telling you, this is just, 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 just awesome. Let's see, let's put uh, one of the heads on there. Look at that, there he is. That's if you decide to go with Lone Chaney Sr. Just beautiful. Or, if you decide to go with Anthony Quinn, stick him on there, boom. Either way, it's a winner, winner, chicken dinner. I'm telling you guys. To me, this is almost like the kid of the year. I mean, Mark, you've got a home run with this one. I mean, just look at this, guys. It's just beautiful. And so affordable. Monsters in Motion started this line years ago. And if you haven't got any of those, do yourself a favor and hit up Terry over at Monsters in Motion and try to pick some of these up. Mark has continued the line. This is the second in the series from Mark over at Pestilus Models. The first one was the creature from the Black Lagoon. Both of them flawless, both of them priced right, and both of them produced by a great guy. So I'm telling you, do yourself a favor, pick up this kit. It's a new release, currently available, but it is selling out fast hit mark up get one of these you will not be sorry i mean look at the size of this and then you're going to go and put that wall behind it it's just amazing i mean let's just look at this thing man this is going to be the story on your collection the highlight on your shelf everybody will be looking at this thing in awe and you'll be one proud modeler to display this kit. I know I am. So that's our review today of the Hunchback of Notre Dame by Pestilus Models. Currently available and a must have if you're a fan of Jeff Yeager, the classic monsters, and the good old films of the years gone by. This is one for you. So thanks for coming in today and watching this episode as we reviewed this kit. If you haven't subscribed yet, hit the subscribe button and join the family. 
I'd love to have you as a subscriber. I'm trying to get to 200. Will you help me today? I would greatly appreciate it. So I hope your day is a good one. And as always, may the Lord bless your day.